1,250 pounds. The bottle is believed to have come from the cellar of Charles Dickens and dates back to the 1860s. It features handwritten labels stating very old Madeira. Keys auctioneers in Elsham sold it above its 1,000 pound estimate. Now, I'm sure you've noticed there's a bank holiday weekend coming up, and I'm sure many of us will attempt some kind of DIY, probably with varying degrees of success. Certainly in my case, but hopefully no one will be carrying out any task quite as delicate or unusual as the procedure of vet from Norfolk has just completed. Her DIY skills saved the life of a tiny tortoise by removing a huge bladder stone with a cutting tool she bought from B&Q. Here's Natalie Gray. Twinny is a tiny tortoise, just bigger than a 50 pence piece. And when a vet discovered this huge bladder stone inside her, there were two choices. Well, she would have died, I'm afraid, and we didn't think it fair to leave her to suffer. So we had two choices. One would have been to humanely put her to sleep or to give, give it a try, which was um, what we did. So, and we're pleased with the outcome. Louise runs All Creatures Healthcare in Horsford in Norfolk. There's not very many vets that um, would take up the challenge, but uh, we, we do operate on a number of tortoises in the practice. This one was quite difficult because of her size, and we had to scale everything down, use tiny instruments and a magnifying pair of glasses so that we could see what we were doing. And I gather it also involved a trip to the local DIY store. Yes, we, uh, we needed something that we could use to cut through the shell and with advice from other tortoise experts, um, they told us that uh, uh, one of these high torque cutting disc drills was what we needed. The hour-long operation involved Twinny being turned upside down and a two-centimetre square cut out of her shell. The vet then removed the huge bladder stone. The piece of shell was put back in place using a strong glue and a special resin to make it watertight. But then Louise is no stranger to odd ops. I've been hearing you've operated on emus and even carried out caesareans on chameleons so this is what just like a walk in the park was it um well this must be one of my biggest challenges or smallest challenges to date um but we do specialize in exotics at the practice and um so we get all sorts of different types of animals in now twinny is a three-year-old spur side tortoise and they can live up to be a hundred years old well let's hope twinny does too natalie gray anglian news horsford in norfolk Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Natalie has told us that Twinny's shell will grow back underneath that resin and glue. Yep, indeed. Thank you very much, Dr Jago. Excellent. <laughs> right, uh, here's what to expect now on the national news in a couple of minutes from now.